Okay, today is Christmas Eve. Um, the weather's kind of nice, but it's it, the clouds are coming in, so it's gonna. I think a big storm is moving in right now. So for the next three days, I probably won't shoot any videos. So I want to check out the north end of Pristina, um, see if there's anything out there. Just kind of check it out, and then so let's go for a walk, see what we can find. Okay, heading towards the big mosque, Shami e La Pet which is kind of in the center of the northern part of town. Right up. This doesn't look to be like the touristy area, that's for sure. But there appears to be like an older part of town, like a center area just north of the, that mosque, which is kind of like a big mosque at a big intersection. So it should be coming up in a couple of blocks. Check it out. So this is a uh, centralized mosque that's uh, very old. That's where you do the, the washing before prayer. It's pretty cool. A lot of these old mosques have been being repaired in the area. So I think what I'm going to do is wander north, try to get somehow underneath this major thoroughfare. Um, actually, I think I can get through right here. This looks like an underpass. I wonder if it's sketchy. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, smells like urine, of course. Smells like a rainbow. Yeah, I found a couple of these underpasses in Portland, Oregon this uh, summer and you couldn't walk through them because they're basically taken over by homeless people. Um, to use as shelter. Um, this one's kind of nasty, but it works. I got through. This looks like a major industrial area. This is a school. Actually, let's see which way to go. There's the mosque. I think I want to go this way. We're going to cut through kind of the old town. Okay, I think we're going to go this way. Maybe. Yeah, because I don't want to walk along the freeway. Okay, so this is kind of heading in through a residential area. So let's see what it kind of looks like. See if we can find anything cool. Not very pedestrian friendly, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna kill the video and turn it on. 
maybe a little further down. Okay, that was a hike. Got to the top of this hill, and there's like a little, this must have originally been its own little town that's been incorporated into Pristina. It's the north of Pristina. It took about, you know, maybe half an hour to walk out here. So I'm curious to see, you know, what this area is like. You know, the construction. This is definitely out of the tourist area. This is the heart of Kosovo, right? I gotta check out exactly, uh, kind of oh that's the bank I need to go to but there's no ATM okay I'm gonna head this way the police telling people to move off the street I have to find an ATM but I don't want to wait in line to go inside. I'm heading back downhill, back into Christina. I gotta try some of those. Those look really good. actually the main the main highway right here going north south through the country it looks like yeah it's uh m25 is this road here uh this is the kodra E Trimava area. I'm probably butchering that name, but okay. What I want to do is kind of head off in that direction so I can hit the old town. Turn the video on a little bit further down the hill. Okay, that's an M25 going into Pristina, going out of town, going north. I'm gonna cut down through here. Cut through the residential neighborhoods, it's much quieter. You can see the architecture, see how the people live. It's kind of cool. I'm trying not to bounce around too much when I walk. Slick. 
lot of these houses, the brick, like they didn't put the stucco on, they just kind of stop at the brick. I think they slowly build up the buildings. You know, for my other friends that live in countries like this, that's how they kind of do it. These streets kind of look cool. I wonder if they go through. Okay, phone is kind of tripping out. Let's see if it's going to work now. Wow, not really. So we're coming across the M9 down here. So I'll turn on the camera once we get down there. We gotta cross over. Okay, just past the M5, kind of heading back into town, like through the old part of town, Christina. And we're gonna head into like the thick of the old town shortly, probably in a you know few hundred meters. But uh, yeah, I was able to get money out of the bank, which is really cool, because sometimes you never know, like if sometimes it'll, it'll cancel your car or whatever, and uh, it would kind of be a pain if that happened. So let's walk through here. It's a little bit more uh, beat up here, more industrial, but let's check it out. People use their horns here for sure. Not pedestrian friendly in this area. like about these European type cities I mean pretty much everywhere in the world you know they have all these little bakeries everywhere that looks like sweet bread if someone uh, who's from here watches this video which I know you guys do I wonder if that's actually like this stuff here if that's a sweet bread or it's just a dinner roll Yeah, coffee shops, little bakeries, little butchers, everywhere. Which you don't, like I said, you don't see in the U.S. anymore. It's all been monopolized in the U.S. You don't have very much choice anymore. So like every neighborhood is essentially self-sufficient. It's kind of cool. They got their own groceries, bakeries. I love that feeling. <clears throat> Going straight. Oh, great. Now YouTube's going to block that audio. Oh, that's cool. Like there's a little uh, water fountain here. Like all these older European cities have these. They're all over the place. It's really cool. You know, no one uses them anymore, I don't think. Or maybe they do. Yeah, it works. It's kind of cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna head up the hill. Look. Check this old house out. Yeah, I gotta make sure my camera's on. So you can see the old construction. There's probably not, not much of this left in the city. 
right? But it's mud brick. Probably an old barn. Could have been an old house. Long, long time ago. Well, it has like an address on it. That's super cool. You know, and here's another example of an old, old building. This is the stuff I love seeing. You can see how they constructed it, right? It's pretty cool. So it's like adobe filling, like a cob on top of it, straw and mud, piled bricks layered with wood in there as well to help give it structure. You know, and that's a building It's still kind of, you can tell the eaves. So these are the older buildings, right? There's not many that I've seen in the city. I'm sure there's areas where there's a lot more of them, you know, and this is like a traditional house. And you can see on top of the house the old power that was added after the fact probably no longer in use now it's got modern electricity going in through the shingles kind of sketchy right so the power cable comes in through here in the telephone into the roof they don't use that one anymore it's interesting Yeah, it's the universal construction material around the world for sure, is mud brick. I mean, it takes more maintenance, but it breathes. It's affordable. Here's another one, really cool house. Man, look at that. That is super cool. Oh, the sun is shining right there. Try to get a better angle. Yeah, so look at this. It's uh, wood interlaced with um, mud brick. That is super cool. It looks like it's still kind of maybe being lived in as well. like that's super super cool I wonder if they're actually and if any of you know if you're from this area or Albania or the Balkans are they trying to preserve any of these older traditional buildings or are they just going you know by the wayside if you could put it in the comments let me know Now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Okay. Where am I? Google Maps, help me out. Okay, that's going back into town. And that's going out of town. So I gotta go this way. This is a... Uh, Jinaj or something like that. Yeah, this basically, this road dumps me right back in my house. So let's go head to the store, grocery, do some shopping. Stock up for the next, for Christmas day, get some food. That's a new store, I haven't seen that one. Okay, actually I'm gonna cut through here and then double back just to get a little bit more of the... Oh, there's another old building too, check this out. 
Yeah, it's another old one. You could tell because of the the eaves up here, right? This is once again, it's the wood. And they textured the wood right here. They put the notches in it to help the mud stick to it, the adobe. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so there's like another one, another one. There's a few buildings throughout. That's kind of cool. I would love to buy one of those old buildings and completely renovating it. Oh, look at gaming house. I gotta get a selfie. PUBG, it's my favorite game. It's actually in one of these older. I wonder if you can go in there. Open? Hello. 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 You can game in here, PUBG. Yes. 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 You can. How much does it cost to rent? Uh, to rent? Yeah, to like to play here. Thirty euros for the one week. Thirty years a week, unlimited yes. hours, or? Yes, you can play how much you want. Oh wow, that's cool. And what's the bandwidth from here? Like, what's the? How many uh, MBPS is it? Uh, one hundred and. 44. Wow, that's good. Yes. That's good. So it's fast. So no yes. lag, right? Yes, it's, it has no lag. That's cool. Yeah, because I only have like 10 Mbps where I'm staying right now. You want it to sucks. try it? Are you, you interested it? to take something or are you just going to play like... Well, I like PUBG, so... You like PUBG? Yeah. Do you have you any Steam? To... Uh, I have a Steam account, yeah. You want to try a game? Well, not today, but um, I'll come back probably in a few days or something, yeah, and try are some games. Are you vlogging uh, with Cycle or something? With what now? With uh, any Cycle? Bicycle? Oh, no, I walk. You walk? Yeah, I'm staying just right. I, I stay close. I stay close. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I saw this. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. If you want to try a game, come. Where? Okay, right on. Want. Okay, awesome. When, when do you open? Like every day? Uh, uh, like every day from, from nine o'clock to eight. To eight at night. Yeah. Is there is there a curfew at seven p.m. though? Yeah, no, it's uh, to uh, eight p.m. Uh, oh, it's eight p.m. Okay. Um, usually we uh, close at um, we. We leave it 24 7, uh -huh. night and day, but uh, quarantine time right. uh, has uh, to close it at 8. Huh? Okay, cool. Well, that's awesome. You guys got gaming chairs and everything. That's sweet. Yeah, cool, cool. A lot of people play PUBG here? Or? Yes, yes, a lot of PUBG and Tessago and um, Fortnite. Low Fortnite Little. And Fortnite. All the best games. Yeah, Fortnite's for kids. Yes. Yeah. You gotta play PUBG here, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay, hey, thanks a lot. Man, have a nice day. Yeah, I'll come back. Thanks. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Nice guys. Yeah, it's in one of these old buildings, too. Okay, is my camera still going? Yeah, it is. But yeah, so this is close to where I'm staying, so I could just like jump back here, spend a few hours gaming. You know, 30 euros for a week. Not too bad. They're a few euros a day, basically. Okay, so this street up here will head, cut back into town where I'm staying. Yeah, it's kind of smoky in there though. I think they smoke cigarettes while they play games. <laughs> okay, it's the main strip. Heading back into town. Keep the camera on in case you guys want to check out the walk. Looks like it goes, it goes out of town. Halal food.
it's gonna be tight fit. And you do all right. I really want to try one of those grills, but I don't eat um, lamb. I don't eat mammals. Unfortunately, it looks really good. Okay. Try not to get hit. Stay away from places like that. Don't want to gain a bunch of weight. I'm not moving around as much as I normally do, especially in winter. And now it's getting cold. I'm not doing any more running. Okay, yeah, I'm really close. Local butcher. Pardon. Okay, the Ethno Museum is like somewhere, I think it's right there. I think it's that building. Really old historic clock tower, old mosque. Yeah, it's the Ethno something museum. If you want to check that out, I might do that a little later. Uh, kids littering. Okay, well, I hope you liked the walk today. Saw some cool architecture anyway. That's about it. And a gaming spot. Uh, catch you next time. Enjoy your uh, Christmas or solstice or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate.